Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and today I have a very special treat for everyone. I'm taking a tour of Tuckahoe Turf Farms right here in Hamilton, New Jersey. So let's get started. All the sports field stuff is all bluegrass. We have a few homeowners that insist on bluegrass, but the majority of them have been uh, fescue now because it's just. So this is mostly residential. Yep. On this side. Residential. Okay. Yeah, residential. You know, uh, well, like the South Jersey builds an office building. That's that. that you know, gotcha. This is only. Uh, it looks. It, it looks is, newer. Uh, yeah. This is. Uh, what is this? This is almost November. So this was planted early October, like seventh or sixth of October. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of new grass growing right now. If you were here two months ago, there'd be a lot of bare soil. Yeah. Take you down to where we've just uh, yanked out the Steelers. And, uh, Steelers and Browns. Still got some of that fall grass left there. So yeah, if you take in, it's uh, 834 acres, and if you were to drive the whole perimeter of the farm, uh -huh. it's 7.2 miles. Oh, wow. All of our farm is irrigated with above ground irrigation system, except the, uh, the plastic, uh, Bermuda Grown on plastic, where we have that ground sprinkler systems for that. material here. There's not as much grass, it's mowed lower. Yeah. Um, there'll be more sand on it. That sand actually, well I'm sure you know, the sand breaks down the thatch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And this is what type this here, is this is all blue grass. Yeah. It would, is it 365 or is all, our farm is now all 365? Oh, god, we actually have. I'll show you. We have some new, we work with Mountain View on developing um, their next 365 because we want. I, I'm speaking on ourselves and I think on behalf of Mountain View, we want to keep that 365 always advancing to the next generation of highly profile, you know, high forming bluegrasses so we've actually got a five acre plot that I'll show you of what might possibly be the next 365 blend wow we got five acres of that planted and, uh, and then over here is where you guys took out for the Steelers is yeah, it or the Steelers came out from over here from over there I was from backwards and it's and it when you guys cut it and you ship it how quickly does it really establish? I mean, you're, you're talking about what a couple, you know, so when we 10 hour drive or so yeah, out there. Well, yeah, uh, eight to 10 hours to Steelers, and you know, we go to Chicago and everywhere else. Uh huh. But um, our goal is to have the sod installed within a 24 hour period. And um, we ship mostly refrigerated trucks so that we harvest it at night it's cool because uh -huh. we're doing it a lot of times in the middle of summer. Harvest at night when it's cool. We put it on flatbeds, we take it up to the warehouse, put it in refrigerated trucks, temperatures at 42 degrees in here, lock it and say go. This is uh this will have growth regulators on it. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, the, you can tell the difference, yeah. yeah. some stripes for those guys that like those stripes yeah these are uh, double wide stripes right here <laughs> yeah yeah maybe triple for the homeowners now when you guys go to cut the side are you guys uh giving it a cut before you cut it out to, to ship yeah, it out so um this this gets mowed like every two days okay um, but definitely the day before we harvest yeah we'll do a, a, a mowing okay um and this is actually being finished mode now so the smaller mower finish mode uh, otherwise like the stuff that we're the game day junior gets mowed with wire wider mowers gotcha this is the 
built in Holland. You see there's a roller in the front that compacts it. And the side comes up. There's a blade under there that cuts the bottom and the sides. Uh -huh. And then it just kind of flaps it down. And the boys in the back, the men in the back, get a tube and they start, start it on the tube and it rolls right up. Like I said, you can grab the video off the Facebook yeah. page. It's fine. Um, they control the depth. You can see this is the blade. So we can control the depth up to two inches. Okay. Or down to like a quarter inch if we needed to. And what is, what would this be right here? That's a half inch. That's about That's a half inch. This is probably for a. Uh, oh yeah, it's a lot. Thicker. This is probably for a municipality. Hmm. And how long will this like? Can can this now, sit though? The trucks, the truckers are probably the next round. They're of shipping trucks it will Be here about noon, so they'll put it on the trucks, cover them up, and uh, be out this afternoon. We call it a, a half inch broke half, line. Half inch. see it coming yeah. down. When he's going full speed, he can do about a, 600 feet in about a minute and a half. Wow. Now, do you guys use this same machine when you go to cut your uh, the game day side? No, that was that machine. That, that, there. So yep. just solely that machine yeah. over there. Because we can get the depth. The depth. Yeah, correct. This, this one can only go about an inch, inch and a quarter. Yeah. Oh, there 
put an, another one will feed in. And this was about 18 months as well, about yeah, probably. Yeah, this 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 might be a little little younger, maybe uh, 14. It's hard to hard to tell. I mean, I, I say 18 months. That's our average. Without looking at the book to find out exactly. Yeah, what yeah. Plan. That's the average. And you, you guys, your guys will just come and I got, I see yeah, stack, so a land stacking it over there. Comes out, shows us a slip, yeah. and we load it up. Wow. So there's no netting in this one. The tensile test is pretty good. You've got lateral spread from the bluegrasses. Fescue, fescue roots are all the ones that are popping out at the bottom here. That, uh, that bluegrass is what holds this together. And our, eventually, and, and they really, they've really got some neat tall fescues coming out, uh, probably in the next five to seven years, we'll be able to phase bluegrass out of our fescue altogether. Right now, the bluegrass is in there because the bluegrass grows sideways, roots. Yep. Fescue grows down. As fescue develops and gets that lateral spread, uh -huh. it'll start holding those rolls together and we can get rid of the mess. So this side is overseed, you said what, rye? Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, he's only gonna, he's only gonna need part of this field and he'll take all of that field. So there was no need to. Uh, and what do they usually do? They usually, it looks like they just usually um, sod like what's the hash in in between the hashes? Yeah, so is it this mostly? One, this one will be between the hashes and uh, the end zone. The end zone. Both end zones. Okay. Um, is that how they typically do it? Like it mid -season, in mid season? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, some guys have preferences of of just sodding the whole field. Gotcha. Um, you know, some have preferences of, of just doing up the gut. It all kind of depends, you know, whether or not you have a college team playing there. And they have Temple. Yeah, so like Temple wants their end zones painted for, uh, what is it? I think it's like second week in um, November they have a game. Okay. Um, so they'll get their, their end zones painted with the Argyles and everything like that. And then actually after that game, they'll rip those end zones up. Okay. And put fresh down and then um, have enough for the two, they have two more home games and then I'll get a full reset. Gotcha. And by that point, Temple will be done uh, their, their season, season. by end of, end of November. And then it's all, all Eagles, all Bermuda with overseas. But they switch over, Eagles switch over, I think Alan was saying they switch over sometime in November to Bluegrass? No, not, no, not anymore. Not, oh, not anymore. Yeah. No, now they, they will run strictly uh, Bermuda, overseeded Bermuda until the end of the season. Oh, it's very thick. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's inch and, inch and three quarters, give or take. And what's this, uh, like a, you, you throw this down first, this like, a, it's almost like a weed barrier, I guess, kind of, yeah, or so something? Yeah, so it actually, so it grows on top okay. of the, uh, of the plastic, actually. Huh. So there's there's no soil contact at all. It just sits on here and, and it's almost like a potted plant per se. Like when you take a potted yeah. plant, I see all those available roots just ready to kind of hit the ground running. So it actually it just it just keeps getting stronger. So this is kind of what, this is Bermuda though, right? This is Bermuda yeah. mixed in with the synthetic. And then that's, that's a 365. 365 mixed in with the synthetic? Yeah, you probably should be able to find the synthetic and this is a little easier than Bermuda because... So. Eh, hard to tell. They're usually shinier blades. And of course you don't have any of the, the rust or anything on it. It's pretty, it's awesome. And you you would just cut this normal, just like you normally would, yeah. not, just even though they're synthetic in here. Yep. 
Yep, no, like normal. So it comes as a, like a carpet, we roll it out, top dress it with sand, rake it to get the fibers standing up, top dress it again with sand until we get about an uh, inch of sand on there and then we seat it. Wow. This is awesome. I mean, I know that's how they do it over in uh, yeah, England. Over, so over, uh, York area, they don't have sod farms like yeah. this over here. They're, they're much more concerned about growing food than uh, grass, which I completely understand. Yeah. Um, but they're trying, uh, we've got companies that are trying to get this introduced here. So we worked with a different company a few years ago. We actually had a pretty good size, 100,000 square foot test plot for them. And then this guy is from HG Turf in uh, Australia. He's trying to work with a football or a football club, soccer club in New York. Uh, they wanted to do some test trials with it, so they're going to actually take delivery this mid-November and put it up there. Where they'll have their practice area where guys will be running on top of it, giving a good workout. Welcome, guys. I'm here at Tuckahoe Turf Farm today. This is Alan Carter. He is the business administrator at the farm right here. He took me around. After probably before this footage, you guys will see the little tour that he did. It was pretty awesome. This is a total professional uh, sod farm right here. It's awesome, guys. Um, I highly recommend if you are looking for your seed next year, try coming to Tuckahoe Turf Farm, especially if you're in the South Jersey area like I am. Um, but for now, I'm going to ask Alan a couple questions uh, that you guys had put in the uh, community page and on Instagram. So I'm going to shoot off some of those questions to him right now so he can answer them. So guys, the first question we have is about seed inventory. So Alan, what can you answer about seed inventory? It's virtually zero. Um, so the last couple of years, they've had really uh, mediocre crop harvest out in the West. This year, the crop harvest was really bad. They had drought out there. The seed production was like 30, 40% lower than normal. And then just before harvest took place, I'm told that they got hit with another stretch of 100, 100 degree plus weather for multiple days in a row and the actual seed heads had actually burst so there was a lot of seed that fell to the ground before the harvesters could get in there and harvest the seed off of the actual seed head so that in turn caused even more uh, up up uh, roar in the seed industry and uh, a lot of the farmers out there whatever seed they have they're currently holding uh, you know to you know get the best price and and, and find out the best quality etc so out here on the east coast uh, we've been out of seed now for about three weeks uh, we deal with mountain view seed uh, yep. just on the top of joe's hat there we have a great working relationship with them uh, we have commitments for seed for the spring and that will carry us um, and that was one of the other questions somebody had was when do you think you'll be getting that inventory for 2022 if people wanted to come and you know do a spring seeding. so our first load is expected mid to late march uh, that will be the items uh, that we sell for the store our other loads will be uh, the new crop which won't be till like mid to late august early uh, september and those are what we're planning on uh, selling for the fall and planting we ha we have nothing in our barn except what we plan on planting in the spring there's nothing available besides that so it's really um we're in a tight situation, and I know we're not the only ones. A lot of sod farms are calling us. We actually sell to uh, about three, three other sod farms, Mountain View Products, um, and we've got other sod farms besides them calling us to see if we have any seed that we can, we can help them out with, and we just, we just don't have it. Gotcha. So the next question that we have here is, what do you recommend for a uh, winterizer fertilizer? So if you come to our store, uh, our winter fertilizer is the same as what we do in the spring. It's a 1609 fertilizer. It is um, enhanced with cow turf, which is a high power calcium lime. And what that does, it we've come to the conclusion over the years, a lot of people never lime their lawns. Mm -hmm. So if you have a pH that is right at the 6.57, you can use our 1609 in the spring and the fall. and that cow turf will maintain the pH at a nice level through the year rather than having it spike up and spike down and then when people finally you know limes cheap and yeah. everybody refuses to buy it yeah but um, this will help keep that pH up uh, the calcium is actually um, as soon as it's wet the calcium becomes immediately available to the roots to uptake and that also helps uptake the fertilizer so when you uh, use our 1609 with cow turf you get almost immediate results uh, and the other question that I had about your fertilizer was, do you guys ship your fertilizer? 
we don't ship it. Okay. Um, I look into that. Uh, the pro I just our bags are 50 pounds. They're in plastic bags. It's a lot of uh, packaging and, yep. and the freight. You know, is is constantly climbing. Right now, uh, freight on a 50 pound bag of seed is 20 to 24 dollars. We're eating some of that freight. We've heard the ones that we were selling back in the day, uh, back you know a few weeks ago, um, just because it just feels so bad charging that much. Yeah. You know, a bag of fertilizer. Well, right now, a bag of fertilizer has climbed four times during this year. Two weeks ago, they sent us a notice that it's gonna be a 30% increase, and they expect fertilizer prices to climb at least until the first quarter of 2022. Hmm. So a bag of 1609 right now is like $33, $34. You tack on 24, $25 for freight. Yeah. And you know, and just the possibility so of a So quick note, if you are in the South Jersey area, you can come on down to the farm. You guys have uh, enough of that inventory, oh, yeah. right? So if you guys are in the South Jersey area like I am, come on down to the farm. You can get their 1609 right here at the farm. So I highly recommend you come down here, tr check it out if you're interested in any of their fertilizer products. So I just want to thank Alan today for the tour of Tuckahoe uh, Turf Farms right here in Hamilton, New Jersey. And again, if you're in need of sod, they have plenty of residential sod right here. You guys could, you saw today. They cut uh, the 90-10 blend is yeah. what they were cutting today that they showed me right on their pallets right there. It was 600, 600 square 600 feet, square feet yep. for each pallet. So if you're definitely in need of sod, they will be cutting up to what time you got in your Probably said? Be December 16th. December 16th. So the, if you guys are in need of sod and you're especially if you're in the New Jersey area, just don't have to be in South Jersey. If you want to come down from North Jersey, I'm, I'm sure they're more than welcome to have you guys down here as well. So if you're in need of some residential sod, their side that they cut today was the 9010 like Alan mentioned that's what I put down at my house the Mountain View seed blend I highly recommend that Mountain View seed blend it's awesome blend as you guys can see at my house at home it really came in nice and as you can see here it's it's way nicer here <laughs> but as you like I said come on down check out the farm if you're in need of sod and again Alan thank you again for the tour I really Thanks for appreciate coming, it appreciate the Appreciate people coming out and checking nah, the place out. Appreciate support. I love supporting local. That's what I'm going to be doing next year. Shout out to the two companies I'll be supporting next year. Plant Specialty up in North Jersey and Organic Turf Trade down in Malka Hill. And again, I'll be coming back here to get my seed from Allen and Tuckahoe Turf Farms next year for my fall over seed. Thanks again, Allen. Great. Thank you. So again, I just want to thank Alan Carter again for the tour. It was awesome. It was truly an honor coming down here and checking out a local sod farm to me in Hammondsville, New Jersey. I love supporting local businesses. That's what I'll be doing next year with the two companies that I'll be supporting, Plant Specialty and Organic Turf Trade. Uh, I love supporting local companies, especially right here in Hamilton, New Jersey, in my home state. So again, thank you to Alan. He was a true professional through and through, so knowledgeable. It was an honor being here. And as a diehard Eagles fan, it was pretty awesome being on the Bermuda grass, the uh, Tahoma 31 that they'll be throwing down. Uh, I believe he said this Sunday, they'll be cutting it and throwing it down at uh, various parts of Lincoln Financial Field. So as a diehard Eagles fan, it was awesome being able to be on that game day side. Um, that was a truly awesome experience. So one more thing that Alan did, he gave me a bunch of stickers. Uh, he gave me this game day stod sticker right here, and then he gave me the regular logo sticker as well. So what I want you guys to do is comment in the comment section below the word Tuckahoe just like it's spelled right here behind me. And then what I'll do is I'll do a live giveaway and everyone will get two stickers. Look at the game day side and the logo sticker as well. I know the lawn care community loves stickers. So what I'll be doing is I'll do a live giveaway as well for that. And then I don't know how, exactly how many I'm going to pick yet, but uh, it's going to be a fairly a bunch of people I can pick. He gave me a bunch of stickers. So again, comment below the word Tuckahoe in the comment section below, and then we'll do a live giveaway so everyone can get some stickers out there to you guys at home. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people find the videos on my channel. And again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. And like always, I'll see you in the next one.